Hi everyone, welcome to turn four. This turn, I expect that everyone's going to be receiving the messages that we sent them last turn. And hopefully we win this battle. That's not, that's not too many. I'm just a little bit worried about this squad making it into our archers. Oh, no. Coming in. They're routing. They get the leaders. All right, this is one. Oh god, who'd we lose? Oh, we didn't lose any archers. Awesome. Lost two coonies. 13 left. Alright. When he. Yeah. That's pretty good. Message has arrived from Tianchi. To Grayscale. Feel who is insane in the membrane. Oh dear. I look forward to a mutually beneficial relationship. Susan appreciates your honesty and would like to open up trading with Yumi as soon as possible. I must warn you about Helheim and Maverni. Maverni's three-horned pig pretender is ravaging the countryside and Helheim has already come to me on the warpath seeking an alliance. Be warned that both seem dangerous if unchecked. All the best, some guy, messenger of Chenchi. On the warpath. Hmm. Well, they are quite packed in. I don't blame them. They're going to have to aggressively expand. Research and alteration is complete. Proclamation from Lenka. Kandarahan? Okay. Another big name, shall we hear by be known as the prophet of Baba Yaga, the leeching darkness, the carpenter of the insides, the one always at the shoulder. Okay, new famous hero. Stories of the shadow's brave deeds and his lightning reflexes. Oh, that's very average. And now told by bards and storytellers around, storytellers around the world. Could be better, but it's better than nothing. Yep, there's my Vernie. Almost guaranteed to be here. Hopefully, oh, barbarians. I'll take my turn, and I'll be back when it's done. And that's turn done. So, Foreshadow is going to be moving into the caves to fight the Pale Ones. I decided not to go towards the barbarians just because they're a bit more powerful than most other indies. Same with the Eclids. And there's also less pale ones. Pale ones aren't very accurate, so we'll probably have less casualties as well. Then we're going to follow up to this province, and our priest will meet up in there. So our priest is going to stay here and not move anywhere, so we can take whatever spawns in here. So we did manage to get two more. These are really rare, but we somehow managed to get one. So that'll come into here and help for shadow. And then hopefully by the time we've come through these two and come back, we can come back down here again. 
We have a low Dominion, so our Dominion spreads quickly, but isn't very strong. So hopefully by the time we get up to here, our Dominion is spread here and spread some Chaos in here. That way we'll have some Chaos Scales to help our Oni. That's the plan, anyway. So we replied to Tianqi and also wrote some messages. So I messaged to Helheim. Greetings, Preparus Uranus. King of this world, as Tianchi 62 is within three provinces of four thrones, all they need to ascend is easily within their grasp. I will do my best to make sure that they don't claim 44, but it may be necessary for us to make sure they don't claim 43 also. To this effect, we will do our best to make sure you are the uncontested owner of 43. Message to Agatha. Greetings, Terra from below, Lord of the Mountains. Grayscale brings dire news. Susan, Lord of the Rivers, claims Tianchi is in 62. If this is true, they are within three provinces of four thrones. All they need to ascend is easily within their grasp. I will do my best to make sure they don't claim 44. However, it is may be necessary to make sure that you do not relinquish 64 to Susan, Lord of Rivers. So, this is 43, that it's near Helheim. I want him to have this one. And this is 64, which is near Agatha. So I want him to have this one. That way, Lanka will have this one. Helheim will have this one. Agatha will have this one. Eventually, I hope to take this one. But at the moment, we're ceding it to Yomi. Uh, sorry, we're ceding it to Chianchi. Because there is not much we can do about it. So basically, I'm stalling and hoping that other people can cover for my lack of being able to stall Tianchi. And so what we sent to Tianchi, thanks for the warning about Helheim. If the attackers will be ready for them, may we continue to operate in a way that is mutually beneficial. Cough spotter. Ah, uh, I would like to not go to war with Tianchi anytime soon. They scare me. So, that is our turn. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment.